Hello everyone and welcome back to our Conan Exile series. I am Survivor K and today we are going to build up our base a little bit. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna go around and start building up some defenses because we want to trigger the new purge. And to do that, I'm gonna need some good weapons and some good defenses. So yeah, it's not gonna be as action-packed. Probably it's not gonna be as action-packed as the one before where we... We just could not stop getting those berserkers, which, by the way, they are fantastic. But, uh, yeah, it still needs to be done, so I'm gonna build up a couple of walls and see what else I can do for the defensive. But, before that, I remember we got some Midnight Blue Flower, which means we can go with... Now we cannot go with Blue Dye. We can go with some colors here. Yeah, let me see what colors do I want. Well, I will want forest green, that's for sure. And then I will need some kind of blue. Blue, blue, blue. Where's Where are all the blues? I'm in need of blues. <laughs> um, night blue. This one. Night blue dye. I'm gonna check that one out and probably I'm gonna need... Why am I... Navy. Do we have navy? No. Have blue? <clears throat> dark blue dye. Okay, we can go with blue dye. Dark blue dye. Night blue dye. Midnight blue dye. Okay, this could work. This could work. So I need forest green, this one, and some gray. Gray, gray, gray. Whoops. Wrong spelling. <laughs> Please don't hang me. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think either dark gray or simple gray should be enough. Yeah. And dark dye. What's dark dye? Ah, okay. With, with this. Okay. So we need some indigo stuff. Let me... Okay, uh, apparently we're not... Oh, where's my character? Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, this is weird. All right, let me see. Maybe we can go... Uh, since we need to go to uh, grab some indigo flowers, which are in the jungle, maybe, maybe we can test this girl out and uh, grab her with us. Right, pop in some levels there. So let's see, what does she have? She has uh, vitality and strength. And she's gonna need more, huh? More what should I give you, lady? Do you want more strength or do you want more vitality? Actually, let me see which one heals you more and we're gonna go with that one, yeah? Right, so strength heals you more. Okay, so this, the fish is gonna give agility. I don't know what the shredded roast gives, but it gives something. <laughs> the grill steak is gonna give vitality, and the gruel is gonna give strength. Now, the problem is, with these thralls, um, the, the more you progress on the food, on the food scale, the higher the healing is gonna get. So, ideally, we should give her some exotic feast in order to keep healing and I think exotic feast, uh, feast sorry um, is giving both vitality and strength but we do not have exotic feast yet so we might as well get her some gruel yeah let's see what we have up top I think we can build an oven can we can we build an oven is do we have the technology yeah we do have the technology do we have the materials do we have enough no we don't okay we need to craft some right so i know this episode is gonna go uh, out later like i think around two weeks later maybe more the, but the new patch popped in, because I'm recording these beforehand, the new patch popped in a few days ago, and um, Age of War 
part two or something like that doesn't matter and we have a new purge if you notice the purge meter is missing and we got in the new purge and you can trigger it manually which means we will need to pop up some uh the coffer guy and try this one so we need to pop this down we need to put some of the uh, gold and some valuables inside and trigger it manually from there and it will spawn some some purge camp somewhere around us and we need to provide um, an accessible path towards it now i don't know how this is gonna work and i'm not gonna test this now because from what i read on the patch notes um the boss is tough the boss is really tough so I'm gonna have to wait and gear up some of my guys here and probably do um, probably do one dungeon or two. Um, I checked out the sets that Orero's um, putting out there and the changes for the Witch Queen Palace and that's where we're gonna go first. And the Witch Queen Palace has a bow that enables other thralls and other units to damage to to deal increased amount of damage to the target so that could be very useful when fighting the dregs and also also the armor that probably is going to end up on a thrall um if they hit you you get some bonuses so i think yeah i i don't remember exact details but uh you uh, the thrall is gonna get some bonuses and i'm gonna get some bonuses when uh, when the thrall gets hit so yeah we might as well go there and see if we can we can we can pay rasma a visit right um yeah what do we need we need this and we need do we have arrows we have hardened steel arrows but we need more arrows actually yeah and we need the um, ah okay 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 i'm a bit scatterbrained um yeah i didn't record in a while so <laughs> it may seem a little off and lost but uh, i'm getting there uh we need some holy john okay we need some stone and we need the oven the oven which you can stay here and we can go now the problem is i do not have a decent armor yeah 189 is nothing is like literally nothing so we will need to change a little bit here we'll need to um I need to craft myself something more beefy because the bow that I was talking about, um, yeah, she's spawning some uh, ads, and those ads are wielding this bow, and she's using uh, instead of daggers or whatever she was using on vanilla, she's using a spear, and the spear <laughs> deals a crap ton of damage. So. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough fight. It's gonna be a tough fight. So I'll need some heavy armor. What's this? Huh? Heavy horned, heavy plated. Okay. Yeah, but it's just legendary. I mean, it, it doesn't give much. However. I can make this. No, no, no. I need an Imidian. Nah, yeah, definitely I need an Imidian. Um, because, because the Imidian gives me health. No, this is the light one. Where's the heavy one? This is the heavy one. So it gives me health. Now, we have our nice daggers here, right? And I think the smart move here would be to go grab a couple of um go grab a couple of uh, locusts a couple of reapers and um craft some poison also but yeah until then we can we can craft five of these the median officer helm okay five heavy padding 
Yeah. Eh, let's go 10. It's fine. Okay, so I think the smart move would be to go there and actually get some poison before going to tackle um, Erasma. Now, she has big guys around her. The statues, uh, for anyone who um, remembers that dungeon or yeah, even for somebody who didn't do it, uh, she's spawning some statues there. And those statues are hitting much harder now. And the beams that... Um, that are flying throughout the room are also hitting much more damage and draining stamina with this mod. So, yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting fight. So we <laughs> need to prepare. We need to be a bit a bit tanky, a bit a bit more beefy. You know, you know. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna drop from two hits. So that's there's that. Um, steel. Thank you. Okay. And you are the... Yeah, you, you're the guy that gives... Okay, okay. In the median... Officer. There we go. We're gonna need more leather. Two... Three... Four... And yeah, we need six leather. Okay. Do we have six leather? Did you? Of course not. Um, <laughs> feline pelt? No, this one. Yeah, here. You do you. And you need to craft me some arrows. Yeah. 20 is fine. Okay, it's gonna give me 10 arrows per. So, yeah, 20 is more than enough. Right, what else do we need? We got our uh, healing potions. We got... We need bandages. Yeah. And the bandages should be... No, not here. Here. And we do not have any bandages. Okay. Ah, we can craft some. Right, uh, yeah, we need to prepare a little bit. Um, yeah, this is this is all all part of the raw the, um, of the raw recording of these kind of series. Um, yeah, I'm planning soon on expanding on the game, so I'm not just gonna play uh, Conan Exiles, but uh, yeah, we're gonna see how how this how this goes. I'm going to expand a little bit and increase the number of games. Why not? There are plenty of fun games out there waiting to be played. So, yeah. You can expect a more. Uh, Alright. Five. Five of these. Uh, we got five of... Almost the entire set. Okay, we need more more leather. Thank you. We can go here. We got one, two, three, four. And the median officer. Mid the median officer. Alright. This one. Great. Great, great, great. I'm not sure I like this outfit though. It kind of looks okay, but it kind of looks, I don't know, has too many faults, <laughs> if, if that makes sense. So I'm, I'm going to think of something, definitely I'm going to think of something to, <laughs> to make, it, uh, make it prettier. I don't know. Um, probably I'm going to just change it to something else, maybe? You're guarding. Why are you not dancing? Ah, anyway. And I'm not even entertained. Did I... Are you broken? Behavior. Emote. Choose emote. Celebrate. Expression. Miscellaneous. Juggle surrender. No. Um. My guy, are you... Are you... Are you... I can't even make you guard? 
follow me. So many strange things. Um, now I can make a card. Here. Can you dance? Yeah, I'm entertained. All right. Um, you got a bit broken, didn't you? Right. Anyway, let's um, let's proceed with this. Uh, we got a lot of these stuff here, and for somebody who plays with main, mainly with daggers, I would have expected that this set would look much better. But the problem is, if I put on Turanian scout helmet to look more like an assassin or something, um, my face is not gonna show up. So I don't like that. So I'm gonna try to find something that else that suits this whole thing. Yeah, maybe we can go with uh, Royal Chest Guard or Barakan something. Barakan has 106 and mine has 110. 110 with this. Maybe Barakan is better. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Cool, uh, let's head out because we've already overstayed our our time in the base and yeah, let me let me grab this and craft myself an oven and we can grab our bearer and head out as soon as her food is done. So let's place the oven here somewhere, perfect. Let's see, what do we need for exotic feast? We need exotic flesh, egg, and dried berries. Yeah, we, we need we need a bunch of stuff. Yeah, that's not the case. Okay, let's... Um, uh, this one here, and yeah, you can have these ones, it's fine. Just, just craft me some. Not this, this, thank you. <laughs> what was it burning my... <laughs> okay. Uh... It was burning my thralls food. Food. That's 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 what I tried to say. <laughs> okay. And you can have these too. Right. Should I grab Johnny? Should I grab Johnny or should I not grab Johnny? That's the question. Right, let me grab some of this and craft myself a raw hide bedroll. And how much health do we got? 540. Okay. Okay, and let's put this here. And we got the bedroll. We got the one hand, we got this, we should have the arrows ready. Yep, we got the arrows ready. Uh, steel arrow. Okay. And we have the gruel ready. Yeah, we got the gruel ready. I need to take a drink. And we can go... I don't think we can craft potion in our inventory but what we can do we can go let me show you uh, the path we can take because anyway we need to go grab something else in the meantime so we need to go here first here somewhere uh, there's a cave and then I'm gonna show you what why we went to that cave because we're gonna go here and discuss with the madman and then we're gonna go to the witch queen's palace and then come back up through here and kill the guy here, Razor Gord or whoever spawned here, and uh, go back home through no through the North Passage. So it's it's gonna be a long adventure. It's definitely gonna be a long adventure. Probably I need more supply. Yeah, let's let's not half-ass this because I intend to do a lot of things. And uh, yeah, it's gonna take a bit. Right, so I will need some aloe. Yeah. Where did we have... It's not there. Where did we have this, the aloe? Hmm. Oh, there are some. Okay. 
All right, let's not have fast this because it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a tough raid. We're gonna have to fight um, one or two bosses along with the dungeon boss, and I am afraid that probably in the process I'm gonna lose the berserker, which is fine. It's fine. It's I can I can go anytime and grab more. <laughs> I don't mind going anytime and grabbing more. But uh, let if 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 we can avoid it, let's avoid it, right? Let's be a, a little bit smart about this. Uh, Lowy extract. Yeah, ten more. It's fine. Uh, you with the gruel. You're fine. Do you have a helmet? You do not have a helmet. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna craft you a helmet. Have the food. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal your helmet. And I am going to craft some earrings here. Where are you? Iron earrings. Okay. And then I am going to. Actually, I needed two earrings. Okay, two earrings. Ooh, iron earring. Okay. So two earrings, and then I'm going to change our appearance a little bit. So this is one. Damaged? Why? All right, you know what? Fine, fine. You keep it. You keep it. You want it so bad, you keep it. <laughs> uh... All right. Uh, yeah, you can. We can. We can always craft more. Yeah, we can always craft more. Now let me transmog mine. All right. Okay, and we got five hundred forty-nine armor. Ah, it's good. Now, the problem is, I don't know how hard they're going to hit her. And I would definitely need five points in authority. Like, this this is a must now. We, we cannot go any further in any of these. Uh, we need to go five points in authority if we want to take on the Witch Queen. Because those fi five points here, let me show you. Those five points are um, taking the Irritate perk. Now, if I get hit by the Pike... The pike drops my authority uh, by one point per hit, if I'm not mistaken. So, even so, even so, if I avoid getting hit by the pike and she can fight Razma and I will fight the archers, we will be perfectly fine because she has the taunt and she can um, she can take on Razma. Problem is, I need to nuke the um, archers ASAP. Otherwise, she's gonna get it bad badly she's gonna die so fast so it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be interesting i really like the idea uh, it kind of forces you to deal with the ads uh, so you do not lose your thrall basically so that's um yeah that's that's an interesting addition there an immediate officer helm. okay and we need twine of course, we need twine. Yeah, there you go. And we need one of this. Okay, median officer. And we're gonna buff it. And we're gonna turn it into something else. Okay. Now we got the helmet also and we need we need more yeah more of this actually and more of this because i do not want to waste the aloe potions for um when i can use bandages because bandages are healing much more than the aloe extract but they take time to apply so i will apply these off combat which means i'm gonna need a couple more healing wraps 
and yeah just drop these here and I can drop this yeah we need a couple of more healing wraps because um, because I don't want to waste the potions and the potions are gonna come I have a feeling they're gonna be very handy for what's waiting for us so yeah might as well um where are you there you are I hope I hope you're not gonna die and that's cool and you can can I enchant you momentum should I waste a buff now or should I wait until I'll wait it's fine it's fine we're gonna level up fast we're gonna level up quick enough it's perfectly fine but I don't need a stone in my inventory and I don't need the iron thingies okay everything else is fine technically I don't need a lot of these here but eh, it's okay it's okay right we got our stuff and can we prepare in advance yeah let's prepare in advance a couple more okay now lady you got 2600 <laughs> oh my god um maybe i should give you the vitality though not the strength and level you up a little bit in the process yeah i think that's that's gonna be a smarter pick um hmm let me yeah yeah well un until we go and fight the witch queen where you're gonna need actually more uh, strength let's go and grab you some uh, some savory meat and uh, buff up your vitality um yeah it's it's kind of problematic because like the big brunt of the damage the biggest brunt it's gonna take from its damage multiplier Th this is why i'm a bit conf conflicted by what kind of food to give would be nice if we could have given um what's it called the agility the exotic feast the not the agility the strength and vitality one but it's not the case we do not have the eggs we do not have dried berries we don't have a lot of stuff and i'm not even sure that's the food i'm talking about so it's yeah so until then the what i'm going with is cooking a bit of the vitality food leveling her up a little bit with vitality food let her get some vitality points and when we reach the big fight switch to gruel because gruel is gonna heal her more so yeah it it's difficult to balance them out the biggest brunt of the damage they're getting from their damage multiplier which is 2.2 meaning the weapon damage times 2.2 that's the amount of damage deals per hit with its strength multiplier which is at this point 80 percent right no, the, the growth chance is 80%. Max strength damage bonus is 6%. So increased 6% based on the points there. So it's, yeah, um, this is very useful to have in strength. But if your thrall is going to die, she's not going to deal any kind of damage at all. So, yeah, I want to go with the safer option here. Let me, let me drop all of this here and yeah exactly right uh in the meantime maybe we can dry some berries right do we have a dryer we don't have a dryer we can make a dryer uh what do we need twine and shaped wood no problem we got both shaped wood and 
here we can take some some of this to make some twine okay so let's drop this here and yeah okay leave this back here and this here right we got our bow we got our arrows we got our thrall we got the armor we got the food we got some potions we got pretty much everything all right all right all right all right all right all right so we can we we're kind of ready to go yeah yeah we're ready to go okay let's let's not delay this any longer and head off eh, it's almost a stack it's fine where are you i need to name you hmm i don't want to name you lady follow me and where's Johnny? Right, let's take Johnny and let's head south. Okay, south here. All right. So we can just bolt through the desert. All right, so yeah that that's the plan we're gonna go and what wow um interesting lighting effects <laughs> we went for, from pitch black to almost daylight what's happening interesting um yeah we can bolt straight through the desert if we can find the ramp to climb on yeah, I think that's the one. Okay, okay, we can go through the rock monsters. And what's that? Oh, never mind. Was some just some texture? No, he's a lava one. Oh, two of them. Okay, this is getting interesting. Yeah, as I said, the patch just hit, and I heard some good stuff about the loot and about the dungeons and about traps and all that kind of stuff so yeah we, we're in we're in for some unknown stuff today you know we, we're in for some yeah, a little a little a little uh, a little spice and a little death of course and i will need to change the behavior of my thrall oh look at the pretty light huh did they also add a graphical update it feels like it. It looks like, huh? Yeah, it, it looks like they've updated the graphics a little bit. Or is it just me? Interesting. All right. Yeah, they've updated them. Like the, the, I don't remember the rock, no rock nose as being that obvious, and I don't remember the lights being that obvious, and I don't remember the sky suddenly turning uh, daylight in in the middle of the night. So it feels like they've changed that bit. They'd some of the graphical stuff. Can you can you get rid of it? Thank you. Okay. Okay, okay. Right, there's also a cave here. Right here. Yeah, here is a boss. And here is a cave. Now, in this cave, you can find brimstone if you are close enough. And there are a couple of other things, including a mini boss. Um, I would like to check it out. But the problem is. I don't know what 
what's what's gonna what's gonna be inside i mean i knew what was inside before the patch but now it looks like some stuff have changed look at that guy oh 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 oh, oh okay okay you barely have any health uh, okay let's let's go check what's inside uh johnny you can come with us and you behavior engagement guard me thank you what loot do we have Ooh, some bread okay yeah they changed the loot also shale back ah oh, never mind it's still junk <laughs> what did i expect legendary okay um let's see yeah this is brimstone this right here is brim here let me show you this right here is brimstone yeah so you can use that to craft steel but as i've shown you um <laughs> once you start grinding bloodstones um this is rather useless it's it's useful if you want to do something else not steel because i think there are a couple of recipes that require steel fire and it's not steel necessarily so oh hit a bit okay okay useless useless yeah i found actually in in this cave i uh, you can find some decent starter thralls if you start on the noob river and you need a named whatever crafter worker you name it you can very well come inside here and uh, check them out because there's there's a chance they're spawning and this is a whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Sumerian Tanner you see Sumerian Tanner and holy and dancer and all other guys that want to kill me okay what did we have carpenter okay no this is useless don't use the repair kits by the way because they're gonna permanently damage your uh, item like they're gonna repair it till a point and then you're gonna see a red bar i'm not gonna show it to you because i like my items but still they're gonna show you a red bar and you cannot repair it beyond that so yeah it's basically chomping off at your total uh, durability got here and there's the boss so this guy confessor of pastora i'm not sure you can tame him i'm not sure but um i don't wow what what <laughs> we hit the jackpot how how what okay now that's an improved loot. And Reach of the Red Mother is actually the best bow you can get. Or the Huntress. No, Reach of the Red... Ooh, and this is another agility bow. Yeah, boy, we can drop eye of the car. Wow, I did not expect this. I did not expect this. Okay, let's put the Huntress down. And grab this thing wow this is insane that loot was amazing what the hey huh we gotta check all the bosses now i mean okay what are you you're nothing it's been a while since i've been this far in this cave i mean typically or rather back in the days um there was not much here not much going on here you came here you you can beat beat the holy bejesus out of them but there was no such such loot like i, I mean i got two legendary bows from one guy what what how i don't know what's happening but i like it <laughs> all right let's go check the yeah let's go check the croc boss and then we can head off to the jungle okay 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 um i hope i think i missed a couple of chests but it's fine 
Wow, I did not expect this. We got the Huntress. <laughs> we got the Huntress. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where are you? Johnny, come on. All right. Mm -mm -mm. And there's the pond with the boss. So I like this change. Um, I really, really like this change with the perch because in all honesty, before you could not go and do stuff because the purge was threatening your base. And I kind of like it like this, but at the same time, I kind of also hate it. I don't know if it makes sense. Um, I mean, you were on edge previously. You were on edge. You you were on your toes checking the, the purge meter when the purge is going to come. And if your um, server settings were kind of... There's the boss. If your server settings were kind of okay, uh, you could trigger purge quite often, and that was that was something that was something you needed to keep in mind. You know, it it, it wasn't something that uh, to take to take uh, lightly. So I kind of liked it because it made you pay attention to what you are doing. It made you pay attention to um, not to actually have. Let's see, can we kill this guy? Where's my troll? Oh, there you are. Um, you need to pay attention not to overdo it and trigger the purge too far from your base or that kind of stuff in, in a dungeon or things like that. So it, it made you think twice before going out and doing uh, random stuff. Oh, okay. And what? Huh? Land score. Okay, this is good. Which one? Hard and steel shield. Eh, not really that good. But, but, we should still have the key, shouldn't we? Right? Yep. And that's about it. Okay. Boots of Asura. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I have mixed feelings. Uh, what did you grow in? Oh, you had a point in vitality. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Let's go check the chest. If we can find it. If I remember where the fudge was the chest. It was not underwater. I think it was underwater. I was under the impression the chest was underwater. Why? Uh, um, I'm confused. I'm really confused. I forgot where the chest was. It should have been underwater. No? I mean, what's the point of the pond? <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe it's around somewhere. Is that it? No, that's not it. That that those are my bad. Okay. Okay. Um. Hey, look, a baby croc. Hello. Hello, but we don't need you. Yeah, you picked the wrong fight. Yeah, you tell him. Uh, what's that? Oh, um, okay. Right, uh, I don't know where the chest is. <laughs> ah, okay, I, I will need to check up a, a, a map with, with the chests because this is, yeah. Anyway, 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 anyway. Well, I think that was it for this one, guys. Uh, we didn't get to the boss I want to, but we got some amazing loot and we're prepared to take on a bigger adventure. So 
Thank you very much for uh, staying with me through this whole prep thing. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Don't forget for to do the Holy Trinity of YouTube. Like, share, subscribe, spread the love. And uh, yeah, thank you. See you next time.